Hey everyone, welcome back to Gilded Reviews. Atom RPG is one of the better indie games on Steam, and I have had a great time playing through it. So today, I wanted to give you 5 reasons you should play Atom RPG. Before we go any further, this title is not going to be for everyone. This is a CRPG, and with that comes a distinct playstyle. The combat is turn-based and relatively slow, but that is by design. The idea is for it to be tactical, and even though Atom RPG does not have the best combat, it has come a long way since release. There have been balanced and gunplay changes that have made it much more enjoyable. Does it still have balancing issues? Yeah, a few, but they don't really take away from the game like they used to. If you are having a hard time, check out some guides online. Those should help you get started, and once you figure things out, the game becomes much more enjoyable. I should bring up that there is an option to increase the speed during combat, so if you are finding it repetitive, you can crank that up to move things along. Anyhow, let's move on and get to the number 5 reason you should play this game. The original Fallout vibes. There is no way around it, this game closely takes after the original Fallouts and it's fantastic. There is a surprising amount of entertaining lore and the gameplay feels like an updated version of those PC classics. Now, it has been a long time since I have played Fallout 1 and 2, but from what I remember, Atom RPG does them justice, and in a way that doesn't feel derivative. If you are a fan of those old computer RPGs, you should really give this game a shot. Moving on to number 4, we have the cost. This game is ridiculously cheap for what it offers, and that is fantastic. I have put close to 100 hours in this game and still have more to see. Honestly, there is not much else to say here. The game's quality is way higher than the price indicates, and that's a great thing for consumers. To top it off, I have already seen this game on sale, so if you are on the fence, you should wishlist it and pick it up on a 25% discount. Next up, at number 3, we have the open world, NPCs, and side missions. The world these developers have created is simply amazing, and much larger than I originally anticipated. It is full of side missions and non-playable characters that really bring it to life while adding a ton of content, easily making it worth the cost. Just as an example, there are well over 300 NPCs with their own personalities and dialogue trees. Some of these characters will have side quests that can amount to some pretty insane situations. Yes, there is a ton of reading in this game, and that can get frustrating, but it's a big part of the experience. It's fantastic when you are zoned out reading through some dialogue, and all of a sudden something extremely unexpected comes up. And that happens frequently, which makes it a big part of this game. To put it simply, the stuff that can happen when you are just talking to people, and the situations you find yourself in, provide a lot of entertainment, and are usually well worth investing your time in. The side missions in this game alone justify the cost. You throw in all these surprisingly entertaining NPCs and you have yourself a game worth picking up. As a little side note, many of the NPCs' pictures are from early backers. I think this is awesome, and something I wish we saw more of. It isn't a huge deal or anything, but it does add a little character to the game. Moving on, up at number 2 we have the deep RPG mechanics. There is a lot here, and almost everything affects the game in one way or another. As you can see, you have a ton of stats, and choosing different builds has been a lot of fun. I am working on a playthrough with a high luck character, and it's working out better than I originally anticipated. I am not terribly far this round, but it has been fun getting rich through gambling and avoiding combat by talking my way out of sticky situations. The replay value this adds cannot be overstated. As a small example, having a character with high speech craft and personality will have different options available through dialogue trees. This can open up different areas of the game sooner and can change the way you play dramatically. This is also true based on your gender and if you are good or evil, which is great if you enjoy the atmosphere the game offers and with all those Fallout vibes, it's hard not to. And the number one reason you should play Atom RPG, the developers and the updates made to this game over the last nine months. This is kind of a big one, and I told myself I wasn't going to add the developer as a reason to pick up a game since my Kenshi video. However, for Atom RPG, it absolutely needs to be here. These guys are awesome, and have addressed almost every concern I had with the game. They also have released a ton of extra content for free. For example, when the game first came out, it was hard, and with it being a CRPG, it required a specific playstyle that a lot of people were not accustomed to. So what did the developers do to help them? They released an entire starting zone with tutorials that break down what you need to know to get started. Sure, this was probably planned and just didn't make it into the initial release, but that doesn't take away from the fact that these developers are obviously passionate about this series and want to make the experience great for everyone. This has continued over the last 9 months with frequent bug fixes, balancing, and game updates. They reworked how guns operated because the combat was lacking overall, and they brought in some help for the English translation, both of which have made the game much more enjoyable, at least for me. 
The last major update, Dead City, was massive and added a ton of new missions, quests, characters, and locations. From what I can tell, this will be the last major update since they are working on the next game in the series. This update could have easily been turned into some type of DLC nonsense, but that didn't happen, which is pretty awesome, especially nowadays. Because of all this, I will continue to watch these developers and see what they do next. They have made a fan out of me, kind of like the original Witcher and Divinity series did all those years ago. I am very excited to see their next project and hope it makes its way to Steam sooner rather than later. Well that concludes today's list. I hope this video has helped you decide if Atom RPG is right for you. Keep in mind, there are things that barely missed out on this list like a decent story, fantastic world building, and a pretty solid crafting system. Overall, Atom RPG has a ton to offer people who are interested in a new CRPG and highly recommend it to players who enjoy games that fall into this genre. Other than that, you need to remember this type of game takes a certain amount of patience, and learning the ins and outs will make your experience much better. Before everyone heads out, I want to promote my Twitter real quick. I will be posting indie games, releasing updates for my channel, and linking articles or sales I believe are worth checking out. Anyhow, thanks for watching everyone, and as always, if you liked the video, throw me a thumbs up, check out some of my other content, or consider subscribing. It really helps me out.